Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about, obviously the title of the video is SP and I part ways and I'm just going to go right into it. I'm going to explain why I decided what I decided and what kind of happened and just my thoughts about it. And I just Okay guys, I just wanted to say something real quick. As you change and shift and grow, two things might happen. You, one, might start wanting different things. Okay, that's the first thing. And then the second thing is that um, whatever you believe is possible to you for your life might shift, right? There's a good possibility that that's going to shift, right? Because you, as you expand as a person, you're going to realize how much more is available to you. And Anyway, I just wanted to say that in regards to SP, because there are a lot of people, especially I've known in my life and other people that I've coached and things like that, that actually end up changing who they end up wanting and what they actually want in a partner as well. So it's just something to be aware of. And I just see it a lot. I see it happening a lot. And I just wanted to point that out. Like you've got to realize you, what you feel is possible will change. So it's okay to change what you want, right? So, and just make sure that I made the right decision. And then, of course, I knew eventually I was gonna going to talk about it. I just didn't want to do it right away so that I, you know, I had some time to make sure, like, I was doing the right thing and I was comfortable with everything that I was doing, right? So, um... But I, obviously, as the title suggests, we, i.e. SP and I, did split. Um, and I am happy with the decision, even though, obviously, I love this person still. I am not against possibly being together again one day. But as of right now, I am just open to whatever happens, right? And it was something that I decided on that was really the best decision for me and it's not that I felt like I couldn't recreate that situation because obviously I had done it so many times if you have you know seen my videos and watched all my stuff I've always been very honest about what I've created and things like that and I've used examples from my own life to talk about exactly what I've done you know as far as this stuff I mean there's a lot I haven't spoken about as well so I will be talking about some of that other stuff too but um I just didn't want to come on here and post a video about um about brain health or something like that with this other thing going on because I felt like it's it's almost it's not lying but it was sort of be like hiding behind a different kind of video when this other thing's going on in the background and I've always been really you know, honest with you guys about what's going on in my own life. So as it pertains to the channel, of course, like I don't talk about everything, but you know, um, so I felt this was pertinent information and I just wanted to sort of go into it a little bit with you guys. Of course, it's not going to be a huge long video, so it's not going to be everything, but so to make a short story short, <laughs> he basically comes to me and said, hey, I got to move for this and this and this reason. And do you, like, the offer was there for me to go with him. And I thought about it and I basically decided I didn't want to go because it's better for me to stay where I am right now. And it was literally as simple as that. And I obviously took time to think about it, but basically was just feeling into what was the right thing to do. And it's not even it's not even that it's impossible for me to go it just didn't feel like the right thing for me to do and if you are used to listening to your intuition you kind of know what it feels like when you're like okay that feels wrong to me um and also i have some things going on where i live right now and that are important to me and so um i i thought about maybe going in the future or whatever but the funny thing is is that I immediately before I even thought about any of this I immediately started affirming he's not gonna leave he's not gonna leave he didn't move he's not moving 
no one's leaving, everyone's staying the same, you know, I just started affirming that before I even thought about what I actually wanted, which is so funny to me. It's like my automatic mode is just to go into like this, you know, hyper focus, like, okay, just, just get it done mode. But really I needed to just sit back and think about what I actually wanted out of the situation. Right. And I ended up just n not affirming that anymore. Like I started doing that and then I sort of caught myself and thought like, no, actually I'm going to let this situation play out and I'm not going to mess with it. And sometimes I just wanted to say that, I mean, not like mess with it, but I just wanted to say that if you want to create something specific, it's totally fine. You know, there's no, there's no wrong or right thing about this, you know, or with, with this creating your life business. And at times I think that has been, has been the right thing for me too, to create something specifically. But sometimes the higher you knows more than you do, I feel like, you know, and, and of course you can do anything you want, right? And a lot of times when you first get into this stuff, you want to create specifically and that's totally great and amazing. And, and then also Neville has the, isn't it wonderful thing, right? So, and that's more of a blanket thing, which is not very specific. And it's more like letting things play out and just expecting the best results. And with this particular situation, I felt like, you know what? I'm deciding now that I've, I've recreating this, I've recreated this situation a few times over now. And at this point, I'm going to just expect the best. And I just, you know, instead of doing something specific and, and being really hyper-focused on the specifics of what I actually wanted, I just wanted to, uh, my intuitive me, whatever you want to call it, God, me, <laughs> myself, my truest self was saying, I need to just let this be what it is and create the highest possibility for myself, right? Which is more of a blanket statement, like Neville would say, isn't it wonderful, right? Or isn't it amazing? You know, you can create like a blanket statement and just expect the best. And in my heart of hearts, I know that I'm going to be amazingly happily married and it doesn't really matter who it is. You know, I know it's going to be an amazing person, right? And, and I know, and you know, I... I go back and forth on whether or not we have the one person, right? That's like best for us. But I do know that I will know when, if and when that person comes into my life, right? And I know it's going to be when, because I know I'm going to be married. You know, I know that that's my, in my future, but I don't know if it's going to be this person or if it's going to be someone else. And I'm really open to whatever and whoever it is, right? So um, this is this is the best outcome for me at this time and I do feel very ex you know maybe not the word is not excited but I feel hopeful and um anticipatory for the future right I do think I've got a great future ahead of me it's not like I'm you know I went through days where I felt uh, like there's some loss because it is a change right but I, you know, and I did, you know, have tears and, you know, go through all my emotions, which I always say to do. I think that's really healthy. But again, like I just, I, I am at the place where it feels really good to be just open, right? And, and being more um, open to whatever and not being so specific this time around. And, you know, I've had many, tr many chances before where I did recreate the situation and I was very specific on what I exactly wanted. And this time I'm just trying something different, you know, and I do think, you know, it comes a time with certain things where you just want to do, you just want to be the best version of yourself so that whatever the best thing is can come into you, you know, you can merge with that reality, right? And I want to, I want to say come into your world, but either way, you know, um, we're not really attracting, but we are, you know, merging with that potential reality, right? And we always have the opportunity to merge with whatever reality we wish, right? We wish for. So if you're in your highest timeline and you're being the highest version of yourself, you're going to merge with the highest reality for you you know and you're gonna merge with that world and that is gonna be a bright one right and I'm ready for that I'm ready for that I'm ready for my best relationship ever and maybe it is with this person and maybe it isn't and I'm 
I'm looking forward to whatever my best life brings me, right? Because I know I'm in my highest timeline now or, you know, whatever I know that to be, right? I don't know, you know, I think we're always up leveling. So I don't really know exactly what the next thing is for me, right? But right now I'm... I'm being the best version of myself right now, right? And my consciousness might not know what the next best version of me is, but for now, I'm being the best version of myself, right? Or, or striving to that, right? It's not like I'm that every day or that I'm perfectly that, but it's a striving, it's a wanting to be that person every day. So um, I hope this kind of went over it for you. I know this was quick. If you guys have any questions, please ask me. You know, I'm an open book and I'll answer anything. Like, if you really want to know the nitty gritty on why I decided that. But it was just really honestly, it was just a feeling. And it was just something that I thought about and knew that this was the right decision. So anyway, I'm happy about my decision and um, I'm happy to be back. I always miss filming when I'm gone, you know, when I'm on vacation or if I go on a work trip or if I have something come up like this and I'm just needing a few days to sort of let things marinate and then come to my own conclusions before I speak about them. Um, but I'm always happy to be back with you guys because I love you guys and <laughs> um. I don't even remember my outro because it's been so long. <laughs> if you love this video, please thumbs me up. And if you love Neville and you love transformation and changing your life and my unique perspective, stick around. I'd love to have you guys. Bye, guys.